Welcome back to CCR Productions. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Star Wars Epic Hero Series 4-inch action figures. Uh, and we're going to be looking at all of them except for the Stormtrooper, unfortunately. Uh, I did not get the Stormtrooper. But uh, we do have the entire assortment plus the deluxe figure packs. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at their packaging, or at least one of their packaging. Uh, as you can see, there's a very nice picture of the Mandalorian. You can see the Mandalorian, the Mandalorian, Disney, Hasbro, warning labels, Star Wars, 4 Plus. The Mandalorian has a little bio what he's about. Uh, you can see a little image of the figure, attention, Disney. Uh, there is a barcode if you do wish to scan. I did purchase mine on Amazon. I do believe all of them are available right now. Uh, and I do have an affiliate link available down below in the description if you do wish to purchase from that link. It does help support my channel and bring more reviews like this to you. Uh, and yeah, I'll go ahead and let's go ahead and crack this guy open and see how cool we he have actually all is. of the figures out of the package. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first one, which is the Mandalorian. Have the first figure being the Mandalorian. And this figure has some great sculpting detail on the helmet. Uh, I love the mud horn. I love how they have the arm sculpted at a kind of an angle so he can hold his weapon a little bit better. Uh, well, actually, we'll get these out. We'll talk about the accessories in a little bit. Uh, but just a great looking figure all the way around. It does skip out on a little bit of the paint on the belt, but I think it works well enough. Uh, the paint on the, the paint on the armor just looks absolutely great. Uh, the, it could have used a little bit of paint on that knee, uh, knee bit of armor. Uh, but very nice looking figure, very nice sculpting. Uh, the, the cape is very easily removable. It's just a simple thing. There is a peg hole on his back, as well as peg holes on the arms, which every single figure has, uh, and peg holes on his feet. But just overall, a great looking figure, very nice sculpting everywhere. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a quick look at his accessories. Accessory wise for Mando, he does come with his very nice little standard blaster. Uh, no paint, no nothing like that, uh, but it is very nicely sculpted. Uh, same thing with the dark saber. He does come with a very nice looking dark saber. Uh, love the, the, the <laughs> love the sculpt on the hilt as well as the paint on the actual blade. Uh, you can there is no painted crackle effect, but you do see uh, they did sculpt the crackle the sculpt the crackle effect, uh, which you can kind of see there. But a very nice looking figure with some great accessories. Definitely like this guy. Let's go and move on to the next figure. Here we have Grogu. And uh, I'm going to do this guy really quickly because there's not much to talk about. Uh, he does come with this very nice little, his little pram, uh, which is very nicely, uh, very nicely sculpted. He does also come with this little stand, which does insert nicely so you can have it float around. Uh, but he looks very cute in there. Let's go ahead and get him out. We'll talk about him in just a second. Uh, you can see some of the controls in the actual pram itself. It does fold and actually close all the way, which is incredible. I love that you can actually close them in there all the way. I think that's very fun because that's something that some other things like the Mission Fleet uh, Mission Fleet Pram skipped out on. Uh, here we have Grogu. Very simple, very cute looking figure. Uh, just a great looking figure. He's got uh, articulation at the head, which is a ball joint. Articulation at the arms, which are just little swivels. Uh, but he's just got uh, some great cute little hands. Uh, you can see his cute little feet there, painted. He does have a little peg hole. Uh, but not much to say with this guy, just a very cute little Grogu figure. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next figure. Here we have Luke Skywalker. And this is Luke Skywalker, kind of from Return of the Jedi, when he's uh, when he's going to Jabba's palace to rescue everybody. Uh, but it's also, it's main, it's pretty much the Book of Boba Fett one. I guess it could kind of be used as both, uh, but it, it is Book of Boba Fett, Luke Skywalker. Uh, but overall, just a great looking figure. He's got some great sculpting with the Jedi robes. Absolutely love the, that they painted the, the belt buckle. I thought that would be something they would skip out on. It would look weird, but this is a figure that they can get away without, get away with not having much paint at all on this guy because he just, he doesn't really need it. Uh, I do like that they painted his hand though. That would have been weird if he was wearing two gloves. Uh, but the head sculpt on this guy is great. This might be one of the best Mark Hamill head sculpts, other than, of course, the Vintage Collection. But at this scale, absolutely looks great. Looks pretty much just like him. Definitely a lot more like him than the end of Mandalorian Season 2. Uh, let's go ahead and take a quick look at his accessories. Now, accessory-wise, he does come with the Return of the Jedi-style uh, Luke Skywalker lightsaber, uh, which does have just a little bit of paint. Very pretty, very, very nice-looking uh, green lightsaber blade looks great against both green backdrops and blue backdrops and black backdrops. So, uh, but great looking there. He does come with this little, uh, little pouch for, to stick, uh, to stick Baby Yoda in, just like he did in the 
uh, Book of Boba Fett show, and he can train Baby Yoda and just show off his nice flippy spinnies. Uh, but yes, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this Luke Skywalker figure. Pretty nice, pretty fun. And uh, on to the next figure. Here we have Darth Vader, and this figure is another one that looks absolutely great. Love this thing. Uh, I love the look of the, the Vader's head sculpt. I do wish they would have put a slight red tint to the eyes because I think it makes it look a little bit less, a uh, little bit less just like plain black, but it does give it a nice cool shadowy effect. So I do like that. Um, very nice paint on the, the armor piece there. There is no paint on the shoulder pads, which is fine because they're covered up for, from the cape for the most part. Uh, something I do have a little bit of a problem with is the belt not having a ton of paint on it. I feel like they could have put a little bit, judging by the fact there's literally no paint on this figure except for right there, right there, and right there. Uh, they could have used a little bit on the main control pad too. Uh, but they can get away with it. It still does look very nice. Uh, it just would have looked incredible if they would have added a little bit extra. But it does still look pretty nice. Um, plenty of nice sculpting on the legs. Love the look of the legs, the boots. The arms, all of these figures do have peg holes on their arms, just like Darth Vader. Love the sculpt of the arms, so you can kind of have a little bit more of a lightsaber pose. Uh, love the look of the cape, very nice soft cape, same thing with the little under cape. Uh, there's what he looks like from the back. Very simple, just removes the cape, it just pegs on in. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a quick look at this guy's accessories. Here we have Darth Vader's accessory, uh, and he only comes with one, which is his lightsaber. Very nice, uh, very nice red color. Uh, with a uh, very nice looking, almost looks kind of like Anakin's saber, but it is molded to be Darth Vader's saber. Uh, but still very nice. I wish it would have had, uh, honestly, I kind of would have preferred it to be in black, except that, like there's more black than there is silver. Eh, I guess not. Uh, but it does look a very, like, a very nice figure. Let's go ahead and move on to the next figure in the assortment. Ahsoka. Now, Ahsoka is another very nice figure. Uh, she probably has the most paint out of anyone, except for maybe the Mandalorian. Uh, but she has a very, uh, very nice head sculpt, much like Luke Skywalker. I think it looks a lot like Rosario Dawson. Uh, great looking figure there. Uh, I love the head tails. They're very nicely painted. Uh, the shoulders are nicely painted. The little arm guards. She had a Mandalore nicely painted. Uh, they did paint the belt uh, and the sculpting. And there's a bunch of sculpting. There are a couple things they didn't paint. But honestly, you don't really need them to be painted. Very nice robes. Very nice uh, legs or kind of feet poking out there. Uh, very nice. She does come with... Uh, a uh, little peg hole back there. There are no actual peg holes on this figure, which is surprising because I do believe that there were on every figure except for this one. Uh, were there any on Luke Skywalker? There were also not any on Luke Skywalker, so I am I am proven wrong. Uh, she does have peg holes on her feet though. Uh, let's go ahead and do a quick look at her accessories. Accessory wise, this figure does come with two. She does come with her Shoto blade, which is the short one, and she comes with her regular saber, her long one. Uh, very nice, very nice, uh, very nice looking detailed uh, hilts there. A very nice kind of cloudy white color. I do like that they aren't clear because I think clear just makes them look uh, makes them look like they're unpainted or something. Uh, but very nice looking figure overall. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next figure. Now, unfortunately, I do not have the Stormtrooper in the single figures, but here's what the picture of his packaging looks like, as well as the figure. And if I was gonna judge the figure on how he looks in the pi picture, I don't like that he doesn't have any paint on his neck. I don't know what they were thinking there, but overall he looks like a pretty standard basic Stormtrooper, Stormtrooper figure. Uh, but getting onto the Sabine figure, very uh, very nice looking figure. This is the first of the deluxe figures, that's what I call them. Uh, but the first uh, kind of battle gear, uh, extra, extra accessories, extra stuff figures. Uh, but the base figure looks great. Love the paint on the helmet, love the paint on the shoulders, the gauntlets, the chest piece the other shoulder, the other gauntlets. Uh, they, do, they did paint the, the belt all the way around. I do really like the paint on the, on the shin pads and the other shin pad. I do wish they would have painted the blasters or made it so the blasters were removable from the holster. That would have been nice. Don't know why they didn't do that. Uh, but overall, just a great looking figure. Pretty nice sculpt everywhere around or all the way around. Let's go ahead and look at her art. Or, let's go ahead and look at her arson. Accessories. Oh my goodness. First talk. accessory is this comically large uh, Mandalorian jetpack. Uh, it is pretty nicely painted. I do like the look of the purple and it does have the little thruster down there the little missile in the middle. Uh, I, I don't like how big it is. If you've seen the show, it's it really should be like that big on her. Uh, it's, it's incredibly large. I don't know what they were thinking, um, but I do still like it nonetheless. I think it gives a very nice... Uh, very nice extra extra color to the figure. She does also come with Ev Ezra's lightsaber. 
very nice looking saber, very nice green hilt uh, with the nicely painted uh, actual saber piece. So we will stick that in her hand right here. There you go, she can hold that very nicely. She does also come with this very nice little gauntlet with an extending blade, which is a very, very cool feature. I do really like how the blade extends out. Uh, but just a great looking, great looking figure here. She does also come with this little Mandalorian shield, which is very nice. So uh, that does look pretty nice, as well as it does have these little uh, like pop out, like it's maybe spinning really fast, or maybe it's like a, Maybe it's like a shield blade or something. I'm not sure exactly what that's supposed to be, but that's definitely gonna protect her. Also, much like the jetpack, this is incredibly oversized, not the correct size for the shield. Do wish it was smaller, but I do like it nonetheless. Uh, but yeah, so pretty nice figure here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the final figure, Paz Vizsla. Here we have Paz Vizsla. And uh, this one's a little bit more mixed for me. I don't love everything about him. I don't like that you can see the undersuit underneath where it's not painted. It really needs some paint. He's very blue. And uh, normally I'd like that, but he doesn't, he doesn't, it doesn't look right. It just looks like, um, looks like they just gave up on painting this guy like halfway through. He does have a lot of paint, uh, but he needs more. Uh, he does have this little cloth piece, very nice. Uh, sculpting wise, his head's looking pretty good, chest looking pretty good, his shoulders looking pretty good. I love the look of the look of the gauntlets. They do have peg holes. Uh, the belt's looking great, which does connect all the way around to the little, uh, I guess, kind of butt cape, I guess you could say. Um, the he does have nice little gauntlets, or not gauntlets, but armor on his pants. Uh, I do like the I do like the sculpting on his shoes. I just have peg holes, but a very, very basic figure. That's what he looks like from the back. Very simple sculpting on the back, but uh, very basic, very standard. Do wish he had a little bit more paint. Let's go, let's go ahead and take a quick look at his accessories. His very first accessory is what is a gauntlet, this little like gauntlet accessory that you peg in and it has like a fire effect, which is actually probably my favorite accessory out of all of them. Uh, of course, he does come with this jet pack, which is incredibly oversized, much like Sabine's. Not quite as noticeable because that it was a big jet pack in the show, but it is still a quite a bit oversized. He does also come with this. No, this is not good. What is this? Why didn't they just give him his regular blaster? Why did they morph it into a missile launcher? No, uh, but so that is unfortunate. They did take his regular blaster and turn it into a missile launcher. I don't like that, um, but let's see if it works. If it works, maybe it can redeem itself. Uh, let's go ahead and press, you just press the button, you load the missile in, press the button, and it actually, that works pretty well. So I'll give it uh, I'll give it an A minus for, I'll give it a minus for just being a missile launcher in general, but, um, and not being the proper weapon that he's supposed to come with. That is unfortunate, but it is fine uh, on the sculpting overall. Uh, pretty decent looking figure or pretty decent looking blaster. It does fit in his hand, kind of. Um, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to final thoughts. And here we have the final thoughts portion of this video. And overall, I'd say this is a fairly solid first wave. I'd say this is uh, it's pretty good. Um, it's definitely not perfect. Uh, there are some stinkers in this wave, such as Paz Vizsla. I feel like he is not the best. But before I really rank these figures, let's go over their pricing. Uh, each single carded figure is ten dollars. What? That is that is pretty insane. Judging by the fact that you can get a ten dollar figure from other companies like this, uh, a Turtles, which is like significantly taller and has articulation, um, but also you can get from the same exact toy line, Iron Man, Captain America, Marvel action figures for the same price, and they have knee joints and all sorts of other things. Um, don't think that the $10 price point is accurate. I think $8 would be a great price for these. Um, I think, I think $8 would be great. Uh, I'd say if you were going to pick any up, who, which figures are worth it, I'd say Mandalorian, 100% worth it. Luke Skywalker, 100% worth it. Darth Vader, he's kind of getting there because he's not fully painted, but he's still a fairly worth it figure. I'd say Ahsoka is pretty worth it. Now, Baby Yoda, no. Don't pick up the Baby Yoda figure. I think he, um, wait, he's gonna go on sale. He's probably gonna be like three bucks on Amazon in a month or two. Um, uh, so those are the $10 figures. Now the $15 figures would be, of course, Sabine and and Paz Vizsla. That is, that, that is not a good price. Um, 
Sabine is more worth it, but I feel like she's a $10 figure. I do like some things such as this little extending uh, blade that she does have, but uh, Paz Vizsla, man, he's, uh, he's fine for $8, but for $15, and he comes with accessories that uh, aren't perfect uh, and really just aren't that great. No, I would not recommend Paz Vizsla, and I think Sabine is a good figure, but overpriced. Um, so if I was going to rec recommend any, I'd say I'd recommend these these four right there. Uh, Ahsoka, Mando, Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader. Um, but yeah, so I'd rank this first wave like, um, I'd say like a 7 out of 10. I'd say it's pretty solid, 7 out of 10 for this first wave. Um, so yeah, this pretty much does it for the review. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, uh, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more of my content, I've got plenty more coming along the way of everything from Star Wars, Marvel, DC, Turtles, Avatar, Last Airbender, Potatoes. Uh, <laughs> and there's a whole bunch of stuff coming down the line. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. And I will see you in the next one. Stay blessed.